Hello, welcome to Revelator Alf and part two of the diesel bike build. So uh, I've taken the starter motor uh, from the diesel engine, the Kubota diesel engine, and I want to see if it actually works, if it's a functioning uh, starter motor. So if I just quickly show you on here, here's the starter motor. This is the actual motor part itself, and uh, you've got uh, the the connection the solenoid uh, already built in here so basically what you want to do you want to collect up a battery uh, to the positive terminal here okay and you also want to connect a positive uh, into here as well um, and basically that will energize the uh, the part it will drop down a pinion and then it will complete the circuit so the actual positive from the battery goes all the way through and actually uh, goes to the, the, the motor and actually turns the motor as well. Uh, and then that will pop out and that will turn your flywheel and away you go to start the engine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect it up and see how we go. So first of all get the negative all set up here positive and the negative so there's the, the negative all set up and you actually connect that up to the actual frame of um, the starter motor because the whole uh, vehicle uh, is going to be earthed that starter motor is going to be connected to the engine so that'll be earthed as well right connect up the battery as well and then you connect up the battery to the actual positive terminal actually there on the starter motor right so the next thing what we need to do is actually put in the ignition circuit if you like the starter circuit so we need a positive feed going from the battery to uh, the the actual starter bit there so that's going to energize everything and uh, hopefully get the whole starter motor working but what I'm going to try and do is uh, uh, basically mimic I've got an ignition circuit here ignore that, that's just a, a switch really just ign the ignition so basically I'm going to connect this up here let me just make sure it's a bit hard doing that right, that. and that's, right. that's it wrong way right. and then I'm going to take the other end here and I'm going to connect it up to the battery like that there we go so we've got the battery so basically the battery is connected directly to the starter motor but it's also connected via this ignition switch here right let me just see now flick on the switch and the starter comes out, the pinion comes out, it works. I've got a working starter motor and it's as simple as that. You need to have power to the starter and you need to have power to the solenoid which actually gets the, fire, uh, gets the thing going. The reason why it's designed like that is that you don't have to have big, um, uh, you know, thick H, uh, high tension leads going from the battery all the way around the vehicle. You can have just a very small wire that's going up to the ignition starter or wherever it is. So it cuts down on the big wiring. So that's the way it's designed on that. It's almost like a big relay, really. That's what all you need to work out. Anyway, so that works. Next thing is to put that on the uh, engine and quickly see if it will actually turn over the engine. Right. Right, okay, so I've got the uh, starter motor on the engine now and I've sort of fashioned up the uh, the battery with the starter circuit uh, to uh, the starter motor as well. So here goes nothing, here's the ignition. Let's see if this works. There we go. There we go, starter is working. It's turning the flywheel there right in there maybe you can see that Hold on. turning the crank as well and if I put it into gear it's actually gonna 
it's going to actually go drive the it's actually going to drive the uh, the gearbox as well there we go look this all works so this has been uh, uh testing the the starter motor for the diesel engine uh just hooking it up to a battery engaging the solenoid uh system and uh seeing if it actually works very quick easy way to test the starter motor right catch you on the next video for the next part of the diesel bike build where i'm actually gonna sort out the uh the fuel lines as well here and uh hook it up to some fuel and see if we can get it started as well uh so i'm just waiting on a part then uh, we'll do that right catch you on the next video check out the website revelatorafter.com subscribe that'd be really cool and uh, leave any comments below as well i know i've pretty much done this wrong and got it asked about face but essentially this is how you test a starter motor just very easy quick uh, simple uh, way to do it right catch you on the next video cheers then